Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. Actually, you know what? Some of you watch these videos and you don't know who I am actually. I hate speaking about myself because it's a fan channel, it's not about me. I played football in a very good level. That's why I can talk about football. I am an old Manchester United fan, but I'm an old football fan. I watched my first full World Cup was in, 2000, uh, in um, 1986 in Mexico. But I have heard a lot of things in football but when a, when a so-called punditry is saying that Declan Rice is better than Casimiro, I can't sit quiet. I just need to talk about it. So in this video, we'll talk about what Graham Sooners talked about, uh, his criticism, his unfair criticism about Manchester United player. Well, as an ex-Liverpool -Liverpool player, it's, it's normal to listen to this. But when you start talking to people who kind of respect a certain platform, all this trash, like saying... Uh, if it's just like you saying that Zidane was better than Maradona. <laughs> it's just like you saying that uh, Ortega was better than Maradona. It, it, I mean, you know, the thing is that football has attained a level. We have come through a very, a very long journey in football. I also am a fan. I can tell you guys a lot, not only about the Premier League. But when you start talking, going so emotional... And that uh, helps to push you out of the main uh, point which you have to talk about. Then it is not worth listening to you. So I will give you guys today in this video, we'll talk about what Graham, Graham Sones uh, has talked about uh, Casemiro, about Lisandro Martinez. He's biased on Manchester United. And which is a good news, I'll talk about what many people think about Manchester United, why Manchester United today is highly criticized. People hate the fact. I got a comment on the channel, some of you saying that we are back. And that's not only me saying, I mean, many, many pundits, many pundits say United are back. So when you are back, what happened is that the criticism increased. So I am not really angry about criticism because football in general is about criticism. If you're not ready about criticism, you shouldn't move on in football because this is what we do. Even even in the in this industry, YouTube, right? In this industry, you do have this criticism. But as I said, when you start going off the track by saying Harry Maguire is better than Lisandro Martinez or more effective than Lisandro Martinez, when you, the fan, you watch all the games and you can draw a great conclusion, then um, I think it's over the board here. And also, guys, I just want to tell you guys also some news about uh, transfers because Manchester United are working very hard in order to 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 give the to give uh, um, a right back, which is the Diaga Delo, at least some support. And we'll be talking about the player which is in which United are interested about, which is Max Aaron's. It's a player which I did a video in the beginning of the of the, the transfer uh, the period that Manchester United are interested in with the player. The thing is that you might ask the question why Ten Hag is interested of in player, how recruitment is done in football. Recruitment is done in football, not about necessary names, nationality. When you have a neutral coach, a coach who knows what he wants from a player, knows the attributes he needs from a player, he doesn't care whether the player is from Pakistan, Palestine, Israel, Russia, England. He cares if the player, Africa, I could put it this way, if he cares if the player is capable of doing the job that he wants for the player. And talking about... Um, Max Arons, he is just the kind of offensive player which Ten Hag wants. A player who gets involved in build-up plays and keep the ball really well. We'll talk about that at the end of the, of the video. But guys, please make sure you smash a like on the video. And please, I just want to tell you guys, we're doing a giveaway before Christmas giveaway. We're giving one of this. If you want to take a uh, part of it, you see the two. We have two face caps here. We'll give it will be one. It will be one of yours if you want to take part of it. So just uh, all you need to do is just to be um, a viewer of the channel, subscribe to the channel, smash the like on all the videos. We have all socials here, and we will. Uh, we will get back to you if you and you will be aware of when when it starts and we'll get back to you because we post worldwide but anyway let's go straight to the video so i am a viewer of uh i love listening to talk sports in the uk right here in the uk i love listening to talk sport and i love the jim white debates simon jordan these are people who they have different opinions uh in uh in in, in uh, their punditry they are very honest in 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 their feeling in the way they they uh they analyze their football. I was watching driving, I mean, driving from the gym, right? And I heard this, uh, I got this information here yeah, that uh, 
you can see on the right, I just went through this from that, that uh, Graham Sonnes maintains his stance, that Casemiro, Manchester United, <clears throat> that, 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 that Graham Sonnes maintains his stance on Casemiro despite Manchester United impact. I don't see him as a great player. Maybe because Graham Sonnes, you know, I just want to be clear, um, to have an opinion about a player, it's normal. You can. He, maybe he really thinks that. But judging from what he has been saying in the past, it's clear that Graham Sonnes has a biased mind for certain players in the league. And when you're paid a lot of money to give an audience, because you guys must understand, before... Before 1986 World Cup, football did not have this audience. I would say one of the players that influenced the football in general and build up an audience in football, people start loving the game. I would say Diego Maradona. I would say Roberto Baggio. I would say Zinedine Zidane. I would say Ronaldo, the Brazilian. Ronaldinho, the Ro Costa. I would say David Beckham. Wayne Rooney for Manchester United. Roy, Roy Keane. So I just want you guys to understand that players, they are setting images in football who have massive influence, who have brought people into the game. You have, in, in, in the world fan base of football, there are people who are really hardcore football fans, like you and I, who love the game. There are people who just watch football and like a certain club, like a player for the beauty, maybe a free kick, or for one or two, one or two movements, or, 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 or a, 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 let me just say a physical appealing player. But there are those who look very intensive, who, who are easily swayed from one way in terms of opinion because they are just in, in the fence, right? They have no idea. And these are those who suffer from some criticism, from such, from such criticism, which Graham, Graham, Graham Sonnes is selling out there. So what he's saying is like, he, say, he started this in the beginning of the season by saying Lisandro Martinez will be find out, found out. The same thing goes to Car Cariga. I did a video two days ago. I have been doing videos talking about Cariga, saying that Cariga needs to needs to um, to apologize. The thing is that they there is a little bit. I think there is politics in football, not a little bit in football. You know the history with Britain and, and Argentina. I don't want to bring it in that that's the reason, but there is an in-depth hatred sometimes to certain nationality that can be expressed in people's face. It is not a fair game. Football itself is not fair. But when you start going into people in the press, I think us the fans we have to back our players. Manchester United. Since Fair, say Alex Ferguson went, uh, left Manchester United, this is the only year that United have recruited five players. All the players that United have recruited are spot on, very active. We have a manager who, has, who, who is about to pin his stamp on Manchester United. And still there are some idiots, sorry for me to say this, idiots who are criticizing him for being firm. Idiots who are criticizing him for wearing a suit, uh, not wearing a suit well enough. Idiots who criticize him for his lineups. Guys, I just want to tell you guys, the fans who are here, who watch these uh, programs, I don't care if you subscribe, but you have to be careful. I have done dozens of videos saying that you, sh you should support Ten Hag because I know the way the English press works. I might be going away from it, but I will come back with what Graham Sonners have just said. And not only him, but also Carriga criticizing Manchester United players wrongfully, not because they are wrong, but just because they are not Manchester United fan. You know, I watch these videos. I see Richard, uh, Richard, the Manchester City player, the defender, who he kind of banter with, you know, with Gary Neville at times. It, this is normal in football. I played football. I have players who, you know, you joke with your others, your friends when you win games, score games, you know, King Roy Keane and so on. But the human part of them always try to expose them, make them understand they have no clue about what they are talking about or either expose their jealousy towards setting club. So we should, we should be very careful What's this? We should be very careful about the way we place our, 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 our opinions here. Casimiro is a player who, has, who is a five-time Champions League player, a player that might win the World Cup coming through, playing for a very good team. He has come and stabilized our central defense midfielder. He, is, uh, he will not be 100% all games, but it is clear to see his involvement in the new Manchester United today. Lisandro Martinez, I would say, is the best defensive playing ball play, player in the league. Now, I mean, I was wondering why he was the best player of Ajax last season. And uh, now I understand why he was the best player in Ajax. He is so committed in his job. He goes for perfection. He plays with his heart. He is the fan favorite.
You can talk about Dalo, who has been the most improved player in, in Manchester United for a decade now. But what we are listening now, we are seeing now, it's a campaign against Manchester United player, which us, the fans, we cannot sit quiet for this. Sorry, we cannot sit quiet. I think it is wrong. United is getting one of his be their best season ever. Not that we are going to qualify for Champions League. Not that we are going to win a trophy. I don't know. We might not win anything. But it is clear that Manchester United is going somewhere, like one of our subscribers keeps saying that we're going somewhere. Because United has been producing some good football. I have a friend, of, a friend of mine who knows I'm a, I'm a diehard United player and he's not a fan of Manchester United at all. He just wrote me yesterday that United, I mean, United, has, United is back and he's someone who doesn't like Manchester United. He's a Dortmund fan. He wrote me United is back. So when I see this criticism, I'm kind of somehow happy. So let's just put that to bed. I think Graham Saunders needs to look at himself. Now I understand why BT and Sky and all these, these uh, big media uh, or, uh, outlets are kicking him out because he, 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 he's not worth staying with. You have to be even-minded because all of these, these programs that we saw on TV, they play a role on people. It's like politics. You need to be... You need to be spot on. You need to back up. You need to you, you, you need to show some 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 integrity when you criticize player. Don't just say rubbish because you play the game. I played a game. I started my career with Samuel Eto. I played with this guy when most of you don't know he was a midfielder. So and so what? Does it mean that my opinion is better than your opinion? So I just want you guys to you guys that you guys should be careful with that. I've said what I have to say about this. And Graham Sonnen, I mean so Sonnes, you should be um you should be ashamed of yourself because that's not punditry. Let's move on. So Max Arons, we have heard here that this is another story here coming out about uh, Manchester United. That um, Yeah, so Max Arons, Manchester United wants January move to Norwich. Max Arons with uh, Eric Ten Hag keen on Diego, uh, Diego Diallo's uh, co cover. So Max Arons, as I said, I've made a, I made a video about him. I love the guy. He plays the kind of football that Manchester is playing. He's very offensive, very good on the ball. You know, it took me a while for me to understand that Max Arons was a Brit because he doesn't play like a British player. He plays more like a Brazilian. He's very good on the ball. He's very quick and counter-attacking. He has a cross in him. I've watched him play many games, and uh, you can go online and check his games, uh, the way he plays on the right wing. He's very mobile. He gets involved. I was thinking at some point that the, the way he plays, he might be tracked by one of the top clubs in Spain because what happens with Barcelona and Real Madrid, they play with the wingers. And that is why you see when, you have, when you're very active as a winger, you have that attraction to go to Barcelona and Real Madrid because they play their wing, their back, their back, um, their right back and left back. They have a free flow of the way they play. If you're very active, you're attractive to this club, the, um, uh, Real Madrid and Barcelona. So I was really sure that Max Arons will move to this level. And it will be no surprise that Max Arons becomes a Manchester United player. For, an, for, for this manager, not for an Oligon Alsorska, not for a static manager. For a manager who has a, who has a clear way of playing, which is more about being proactive on the ball, Max Arons will fit Manchester United. Yes, there is room. He's a young player. I think 20, 20, 23. There's room for growth there in him. He will grow as Manchester United player. So this is one of the transfer as a United fan that I am for. I think Max Arons will be will bring a lot to Manchester United. The enthusiasm. He has been in Premier League. He United has been. This is one of the players. United has been behind Max Arons for the past four years since when he was eighteen. Because of the way he plays. He's a player that has been under the radar. So it is uh, reported that we can get him for as little as £10 million in January. Because, you know, they, they, they need money. There. And, uh, there was a time which um, they wanted him for uh, like £20 million, uh, uh, quid, But now it's uh, £10 million quid. Uh, we can get him in the January transfer window from Norwich. Uh, so uh, tell me what you think about that. Write your comments below and tell me if Max Arons is a player that can... Um, can do the job for Manchester United. But personally, I give a go for such. I mean, I even feel more confident with Max Arons than uh, Frimpong, which uh, plays for um, uh, for the German side, uh, Leverkusen. I just wanted to say this, that uh, if you are a Manchester United fan, you shouldn't be afraid of criticism. Our players, well, there are many signs that shows that there has been a lot of progress in Manchester United season. Because most of our, our most of our fans, most of our, our I'll put it our our opposite our, our 
most of uh, the fans of different clubs are generally criticizing Manchester United fans to today because we are doing well on the pitch and that is not a bad thing to be honest. So guys, as I said, I really not happy with Sunes. As a punditry, Sunes uh, has a right for his opinion, but I think uh, Sunes um, saying that uh, Declan Rice is better than than uh, Casemiro is over the top. It's just like saying that. It's just like saying that. How can I put it this way? That that uh, Keen, uh, Keen, uh, Keen, the attacker for Tottenham is better than Gabriel Batistuta. Honestly, it's just like saying that um, Rashford is better than uh, Wayne Rooney. <laughs> I mean, it's okay to say that, but you, you look like an idiot when you say these things because these players are players that have proven a lot and uh, those who are still in their career they have that potential to be but they haven't yet so uh guys this is the end of this short video please smash a like on the video um uh, subscribe and help the channel when we hit 10k we are trying to get you guys a lot of information here in the united way we upload videos every day pre-recorded and also we are live um uh the on daily period so uh get involved with the channel and uh by the way tomorrow i'm doing my preview of the game against sociedad in spain united we're traveling to spain against sociedad uh, thursday come here meet i mean join us for the watch along it will be a cracking game it is one of those games in which manchester united needs really needs to show their character if we can be the top of the uh, of the of the of the league if we can trash them at least two two zero in spain then um our chances are massive our chances are massive to be honest anyway thanks again and uh please stop listening to all these idiots who keep uh criticizing manchester united not because it's their opinion but because they have a bias of the club and stay tuned respect the process trust the process support Harry Ten Hag, support your players, the Butchard, and also Casemiro, because you know what? The British bias for Brit uh, in the Premier League is becoming very ridiculous. Without that said, lovely show. Talk to you soon, guys. Stay tuned, guys. And uh, yeah, ciao, ciao.